Alrighty, folks. Today's plan, I would like to get this exhaust manifold situation kind of started so we can pull this motor out and fully weld up these motor mounts. Go through our steering, make sure that's all good. And then uh, the clip. I know the clip is in, but I don't know if I got everything fully, fully done and welded on it. So I want to go over that and make sure that's all good. And then, uh, oh, I'll get you, bud. Come on in. Hey, hot. <laughs> Alrighty. So anyways, I guess we'll get started. What we're going to do is I'm going to cut a flange. I'm going to use some of these pieces I got. I think I'm just going to build myself like a log style manifold for the driver's side. And uh, from there we can kind of try to twine the two sides together. I think that is the plan. Right, buddy? Sound like a plan? You don't care. <laughs> All right, we got this thing cut on the table. Um, the plasma, I had it set up. Well, I didn't have it quite set up right, I guess. I had it for 3 eighths, but I wasn't running the full 45 amps because I don't know what my power is in that shop. Uh, I think that's only like a 20 amp service. That inverter dealio does seem to work better <laughs> than my old, the other plasma cutter I had. So I'm using uh, uh, HTP their uh, plasma cutter with CNC. I was running it at 40 amp and I should have had it at about 45 amps. I just, I was afraid of popping a breaker there. So anyways, we got it. I think my tip's worn out because it is cutting at a little bit of an angle there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. We gotta clean it up. It's not too big of a deal. I'm not too concerned because this is just above three eighths, so. Well, I went to my muffler van because my exhaust machine is not functioning in the way that I can use. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, found a piece of pipe. As you can see, my manifold is here. My idea is we're just going to buzz these on, buzz them to here. I got two of these pipes. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just cut it right down the middle and just have a nice transition for the two sides to go into. And what that'll do is it'll be like somewhere here to clear my steering and stuff. I'll have one half, other half, we'll slit it. We will buzz the two together. But what that should do is uh, give me plenty of room to clear around my steering and go down that hole right there. And then we can kind of work on our crossover pipe. So that's my plan. Uh, we cut this other one on the plasma table. I'm actually wondering if my torch height and stuff is fast enough because I guess I can hole saw these. I'm actually just wondering out of curiosity if I put this on my plasma table, if I can take this thing and uh, build myself, if I can cut all these holes. <laughs> just wondering if it's doable. I guess there's... I, uh, <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to grab my hose, run over to the other side and give it a try because I'm actually wondering if that'll work. That'd be pretty cool if I think. <clears throat> right, buddy? Would that be pretty cool? I think so. What have I got to lose? I'm sure I got more of this. So I'm going to set this up really quick and uh, let's blow some holes in here. <laughs> got our drawing set up. All I did is I just took my drawing, took everything away except for the holes, got it start in the middle. <laughs> All right, let the experiment begin. This is either gonna work or it's gonna fail miserably. Um, yeah, Let's see here. 
Let's start. Whatever. It sort of works. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, you never know unless you try, right? It seemed to be a little fast for that one. Anyways, we'll go grab that, we'll bring it back to the shop. Here we are, version one of my log manifold, which doesn't make any sense yet. Um, I've test fit and it's a fail. <laughs> we'll get it. It's not too bad. I'll show you what's wrong. Well, essentially what's happening is when I test fit it, it's hitting my steering shaft like it was before. So let's see if I can get you in here to see what I'm doing. It doesn't quite fit on because I'm hitting the steering again. Anyways, not a big deal. What we're going to do, or at least I don't feel like doing it till tomorrow, is I'm going to bust these welds up here. We're going to bust all these welds. Oh, you see me clamping it down too. I'm hoping this bench is straight, but it had a little bit of a warp into it, so I'm just sandwiching it down. I want to get this closer to the uh, the table so basically what I got to do is pop these tacks that I have and we're gonna do a small wedge cut just so I can get this flange to tilt back and get this to roll more towards the block at least that's my thought and then once I get that sorted out that's when I'm gonna slice two of these pipes in half 
So these two will make one, but it's going to nicely V in, sort of like a ram horn, but I'm going to station it between these two cylinders. I'm going to keep it back here. So there'll be one there and there'll be one here. That should direct the flow to come down. Or good enough for what I need it to do anyways. Um, oh, hey, maybe I do that. That might look better. Anyways, that's tomorrow's plan. I kind of don't feel like, I don't feel like messing with this thing right now. So tomorrow we will cut this up some more. <laughs> Not bad. I don't know what I'm going to do for the ends yet. I feel like uh, for this stuff, I'll probably round these corners. Well, you call them a corner. I'll round this round corner. Anyways, we'll kind of do make them do their thing. I have a plan. We'll try to make it happen. Uh, this should be straightforward though. Well, we're close. I thought of opening these up because these don't quite come through, which is okay because we can actually do the weld on the inside then. But yeah, I think the easiest is we'll just, we'll trim that back, tack everything up. Like I say, round this, we'll do that flange down. Should work out fine. I want to try out this TIG welder. We'll kind of give her a burn on there and see how that works with all of this. If you think it's nice and thick metal, I'll get uh, get my practice on with that thing. But like I said, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. I don't quite feel like it right now. That said, I think I have plenty of room in there to uh, get at my plugs and stuff. So this shouldn't be too bad. Anyways, till tomorrow. Then we'll get this manifold on there and working. Well, we have got a loosey-goosey plan here. You can see we got tons of clearance now. Like, I can fit my hand between the steering and the exhaust. Uh, it looks like I can get at all the plugs pretty easy. So, I think we're on to a game plan here. Um, I almost want to test fit the downpipe, get that into there uh, first, and then yeah, we're going to do that. We'll pull it off. We're just going to blow a hole. I'm going to blindly cut two of these together so we can kind of just make a very nice transition into it. That way we know it fits. And then I'll probably dismantle this because I think it'll be easier to weld. Well, we'll see. Because I can weld in and out. Yeah, we'll give it a whirl. We're going to take it off. I blindly kind of made a hole. We're going to sort of scabby scab that down tube and uh, hopefully that just works it goes into the vicinity of the uh, vehicle that uh, won't interfere with anything I think once we round this that'll give us a little breathing room right now it's resting on top of the mount but there's a shield so it should be okay I might take the shield off so it doesn't rattle but I think we kind of built ourselves a nice little block hugger log <laughs> exhaust manifold
Well, after a whole lot of fiddling around, we still got to do some tweaking. Up here, we got to work this edge a little better. Around here, a little better. But I mean, in the end, we basically built that. <laughs> I know these could have turned to flow a little better, but eh, I don't care. I mean, in the end, it's going to want to get out of there. So we kind of clean this up. Uh, yeah. So I got to trim in here. We got to do whatever just make this look prettier than it is for the most part it would be wrapped in header wrap so it's not really going to matter but i don't even know if i need to wrap this other than for spark plug wires if they're kind of close i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it for that but i might not so we got a little bit like i say a little more trimming and fitting but i've tested it on let me let me put it on and i'll show you all right i have a look see in there let me zoom you in there a bit you can see we got Maybe you can't see. Let me find my light. Where is my light? Hey buddy, where's my light? Oh, there it is. Stuck to the hood. <laughs> Alright. Have a look-see down there. Ah, oh, all the room. Hopefully I can get you in there. Before we were touching, now we're like nowhere near it. I can't get the camera in there good, but trust me. We have more than enough room. <clears throat> so I guess the next step is going to be, we're going to pull it off, we're going to clean up the edges, and we're going to weld this thing solid. Because I'm pretty happy the way that looks. I know a feller could buy this manifold, but I enjoy making things, so... To me, this is fun. There was, a, there was a big experiment, and in the end, I should have just made both my exhaust manifolds instead of buying all this stuff. It just didn't work out for me in the end. Oh, yeah, so we got all that down there. Um, I don't know if you've seen. I think I showed it. I cut another flange on the table. So whatever this crossover pipe is, I'll be able to stick this on the end of that manifold, and then... We'll be able to use the gasket supplied, sandwich it together. We should be cheery. All right, well, I'm gonna get this off. I got, kinda got my bench clean, but I'm gonna clean more junk off of there. That bench is so much smaller than my other bench. <laughs> it uh, takes no time to fill it up. Anyways, let's uh, get this cleaned off and fire up this baby, and then we'll see, uh, start practicing some welding. Some TIG welding.
Yeah, so far it's going pretty good. Getting back into the groove. Can't say I know any of the settings. I just hit it onto DC, set it on 140 amps, and I'm just cooking along. It's a little hot for up here. My torch is getting a little warm, just being an air-cooled torch. These things still start to get warm on you. So as soon as I can, I'm going to try to get a water cooler for it. Because I personally like the water coolers because you can... Um, you can just keep welding and stuff doesn't get hot on a feller. That said, works really good. I'm super happy with it. I gotta go pull and poke and prod a few of these pieces out, but the overall shape of this thing is working pretty good. Eventually up here, I'm gonna trim this out, smash this in, kind of like I did this side. Uh, yeah, don't know what to say. I'm super happy with this thing. Anyways, I'm just going to finish this up. I'll bring you guys back in once I take a few breaks here and uh, continue welding this thing solid. And then uh, we'll figure out where we go from here. Here's our finished product. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I'm going to wrap it unless I have to. I think it'll be just fine. So we were able to burn around the outside and then on the inside we just came in and burned the other half. I'll have to go in with the die grinder and clean them up a little bit but overall I am pretty happy. So. Let's slap this thing on, lift her up, and see if we can make something to connect the two halves of the car together. <laughs> well, you can see we're a little tight there. Which is okay, but it clears the steering box. It clears pretty much everything other than this. I knew something was going to happen there. I kind of got to get this to go back and then snake over to this side. This side, I'm going to raise it up a little bit because it's kind of hitting the cross member here. So, um, I have a few bits. I'm not sure where I'm putting this end on here yet. Got to figure that out. I could put it down here because I think I can still eh. I have to figure that out I do need to put that clamp on somewhere and then we yeah I don't know I think I gotta go back to the van and grab some more pieces but we'll have to cut this one snake it to go across I think I can do my blow off valve but I'm gonna have to figure that part out because this thing's not a blow off. I keep saying that. My wastegate. That thing's really small and just, they got such a goofy setup. So, I'll, uh, I'll go look what I got, what my blow off valve is, and, uh, we're gonna have to modify this thing. So, I found my blow off valve. I went ginormous. So, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's like bigger than my pipe. Look at that thing. Crazy. So it has a V-band. Or something. What is this? Oh yeah. So we got something. Which is good. We can pretty much just weld that to the pipe. That's what I'm thinking. We'll take... We'll be able to... Man. Can we? Holy... 
A little bit of overkill, no? Ah, we'll make it work. We'll kind of put it together and uh, we'll see what it looks like on the pipe. Well, we got it all together. This thing is big and heavy. Holy. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. We'll still try for where similar to where it had it on the kit. I can't say I've ever done that, but because I got that aftermarket manifold, there's really nowhere to to put this thing under the hood and whatever. I'd like to make it clean as possible under the hood, I guess. Anyways, not a big deal. We'll just focus on trying to get this pipe all done and then we can figure this thing out after. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Well, I guess I just gotta take a trip to the van. We're gonna grab a couple elbows and then we'll see what we can start makeshift working. <laughs> All right, here's what I came up with. So, we had a few bendy bits in the van. They go up here. I'm questioning whether I'm gonna put a clamp on here instead of a flange, cause I can at least, you can at least slip it out and get the manifold off. Um, like if I make a mount, I think I'm gonna struggle to get the header off. So I could always do this and just use like a cheap expander just so you can slip this back in. Kind of my thought. So then over here, we reused some of the original piping. So it's just doing a, a snake over to this side. The only thing I'm a little worried about is, I don't know, oh, let me find this. The thing I keep calling wrong, the wastegate. I just don't know. I'm kind of thinking it'd be nice to tie it in with the rest of the exhaust. So, it, I mean, not that I care, but otherwise it's just gonna snort all over the ground. But I wonder if I mount it like that, then I could sort of take this and tie it. See, this is the out part. I could tie it into my exhaust. It'll make it very miserable if I have to, like when you're trying to work with the springs and stuff, that means you always got to put on the lift, but I don't really care. I think this is how I'm going to do it. That is going to be the plan. Somehow we're going to scab it into this pipe. Um, this needs to be trimmed, but I just have a sleeve in there to hold everything together. But it looks like it makes sense. Uh, for now, I am gonna put this thing up here. I'm gonna doodle it on there, because it kinda, well, it doesn't hit anything, so it should be good. Uh, I just need two hands now to uh, mark this out so we know where to blow a hole in here and try to booger the two together. <laughs> <laughs> all right well i'm gonna do that then i'll be able to pull this off i did have to cut this manifold a little bit just to tweak it out 
but should be fine. Alright folks, interestingly enough, that worked. We got, like I say, I'm going to clamp that side. This side goes over, my wastegate is here, which then goes up to a clamp up there. So we'll be able to separate this middle section so I don't see a need because on a normal car, you wouldn't have the flexi bit on a car anyways. So it might be for alignment issues with the exhaust, but seeing how we custom made this one, it's fine. The wastegate's sitting here, it's tucked up nice. I'll probably wrap it up because it's kind of close to the transmission, but not terrible. Um, I think in the end, what I'm gonna try to do, I don't know if you can see in this mess, but I have uh, the three inch exhaust. Hmm. Can I get a better view somewhere here? <clears throat> Maybe here? Let's try this, try this. I don't know if this works. <laughs> Anyways, my three inch exhaust is here. So my wastegate sits here. So I should be able to like dump it into this pipe. It's like you're just trying to fit a whole lot of junk in such a small space, eh? <laughs> I have to change out that O2 because that's so far away. I'm going to move it up the pipe. So it'll be in the engine bay there a bit. But anyways, um, what else we got to do here? I think that's as far as we're going to get for this round. So my plan after is to split the pipe and kind of do a dual exhaust. I know, kind of doesn't make a point, but I might do it, I might not. We might leave it three inch and just come out the back. I don't know yet. Uh, but yeah, we did quite a bit. We uh, built a manifold and um, we built a crossover pipe. So I think we got the worst of the worst done. I think going forward what we're gonna do is uh, uh, I don't know if we'll worry about the exhaust right now I because th I think everything else is done you might pull the motor out just so we can detail under the hood oh no we're gonna work on this clip I think that's what we're gonna do next because right here I do have it bolted in and a little bit of weld but I'd like to add a gusset here going up into the frame still I believe I have this part all done, so I want to just do the same to the other side. That way it can just fill up with garbage, but... <laughs> More is better though. So we got that one. We're going to do the other side. That'll do the clip. Maybe we'll make some shock mounts. Maybe start working on the brakes. I don't know. I don't know if I should wait to detail the engine until I get everything in. I don't really want to pull it out multiple times. Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out next round. I think, uh, like I said, we didn't do too bad. We kind of got the exhaust going. Um, I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. I want to thank all of you for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.